Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Basketball's biggest stage, the NBA Finals. It begins here, and 2K Sports is happy to bring it to you. Kevin Harlan here, joined by our analyst, Greg Anthony, and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. The star backcourt, Akonchich and Irving are out there. Jones is out there with Washington, and it's Gafford in at the five down low. And for Boston, the wing carrying it's white and brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the one. Take a look at the map. Now we know this is everything they worked toward. Greg, the adjustments in the offseason have really paid off. And it's a well-run organization from top to bottom. They know who they are. They play to their strengths. That's why they find themselves here with an opportunity to win it all in the NBA Finals. Like you said, they know who they are. They play within those limits. Right. That's about focus and determination by Luca. Takes the contact, doesn't alter the outcome. Doncic against Holiday. The kick out to Brown. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Now Jason Tatum has become an extraordinary passer. This guy knows the attention he draws, just gets his teammates involved. Stolen by Brown. Here's Holiday. And the rejection by Kaffer. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Outside Holiday. Up again. Porzingis on the foul. Well, you've got size and length. So Kristaps Porzingis, the extra possession. We play just over a minute here in the first. Doncic kicks to Irving. Washington against Tatum. Now, here's Washington. Not a lot of room. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. Tatum against Doncic. And the dunk by Tatum. Well, off the dribble, Jason Tatum continues to perfect multiple options in his arsenal. Doncic kicks to Washington. To halt the run. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Now for P.J. Washington, it's important he continue to establish himself as a floor spacer. This guy can really make threes. Washington hits them both. The Celtics have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Jones against Brown. Over Jones. And it's Brown missing. The fadeaway, not a terrible idea, but he needs to make the game easier on himself. He's overcomplicating things. Moving against White. Offensive rebound. Porzingis with the block. A swat by Porzingis. That wingspan letting you know he's in the house. White, good. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Irving passes to Gap. Jones. Dallas moving the ball around. Near the three-point line. It's Doncic. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. Look at Doncic's offensive game. Just so pure, folks. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. From past the arc. Rebounded by Gafford. Mavericks trailed by three. Washington passes to Doncic. Gafford with the ball. And there's the pass to Washington. Throws it up high. It's stolen by Brown. Here's Tatum. 
Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. P.J. Washington. The best offensive first, players in the league football. get to the free throw line first consistently. Football. This is where you're starting to see growth from Jason Tatum, Jason wanting the contact, inviting the contact. Good on the second free throw. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Four-point game. Washington finds Doncic. Just five on the clock. Irving from long range. And Tatum pulls it down. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point line. Count that bucket. I'd say it's seven foot three to have that kind of body control. Push that course and this makes it look easy. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. Some changes here for the Celtics. Tillman's checked in, and it's Horford in for Brown. Hardy passes to Kleba. Outside Hardaway. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Well, in today's NBA, you've got to be able to play in pick and roll, and Hardaway doing work right there. Richard passes to Tatum. Connects from three-point range. Tatum's got six points. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Hardaway. That's to Hardy. Shoots from the right block. Here's Widely. Tillman grabs the mix. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. And the dunk by Tatum. I love it, Jason Tatum. Not settling for a jumper. He goes to the rim with authority. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Harden. Nothing on the board. Here's Exum. Here's Wively. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's White. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got his third assist on the night. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop them, and that's never an easy task. Here's Tatum. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. 51 seconds left here in the first quarter. Hardy passes to Cleveland. Dallas, no good that time either. Oh, that was a great effort defensively. Get a hand up in the face of the shooter. It's so important. Inside. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. And the Celtics making a change here. Hauser's checked in. Dwight Powell's checked in for the Mavericks. Green comes in for Dante Exum. Hardy passes to Hardaway. There's 25 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And the rejection by Tatum. There's a pride to the defensive end of the floor. Tatum sends that back. White, good. White's got six points. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. And here is Hardaway to end the cold streak. And no good in the last second attempt this time. And so is the Boston Celtics. Their lead at 15 going into the break. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We'll return shortly. And 
we're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. And guys, we've seen the Celtics really take control here. You, you got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. On the floor for Dallas, the star backcourt of Donchett oh, and Irving are out there. Dallas ball. Dwight Powell is out there with P.J. Washington, and it's Green in at the three slot. Irving finds Powell. Pass to Washington. Donchich outside. A three. Oh, Donchich from way outside. Fearless, as always. Donchich loves to fill it up from deep. Pass to Holiday. Takes it off the glass. And the Celtics lead by 14. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Powell kicks to Irving. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. And you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Dallas making a switch here. Gafford's checked in. Now here's Horford. Scoreless thus far. And the shot goes in from Kristaps Porzingis. Well, this is where Porzingis thrives. He is shot ready on the catch. here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Dallas again turning it over. Here's Green. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Fifth is Luka Doncic. And he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. Outside Holiday. with the rebound. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Basically, the attention Luka draws. That's why his teammates get so many wide open looks. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. Brown outside. Oh, good on the triple. Average trail by 15. It's stolen by Brown. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. The feed now to Horford. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Celtics. And just a great job so far applying pressure defensively. The opposition is on their heels with the ball in their hand. Nightmares clamps thus far. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. Celtics leading by 15. Holiday, the pass to Brock. Back to Holiday. Shot clock at six. It doesn't go for him. Nice D from Doncic. And the teardrop, and it's sent back by Horford. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Out Horford twice on the pipes. Holiday left side. Found with it. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Missed you there. Hadn't had many of those so far, which is a big reason they were substitution. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue. That pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Well, Celtics making a switch here. Tillman's checked in. Ively's shot is off. And so it's Perzingis. They'll bring it up for the Celtics. Now, here's Brown.
to Hauser. There's the triple. Boston, no good that time either. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Holiday against Doncic. Passes it to X. A three ball. Rebound, Boston. Outside, Brown. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Defensive ball. So it'll be Jalen Brown shooting. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. So both teams changing it up here. And he's got his first chance at the line here. You have to admire the growth of Jalen Brown. He comes in as an attacking athlete. He's now a better passer. And he absolutely is a knockdown three-point shooter. Dallas calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, four rotations, more communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Here's Exum. He's covered by Brown. Got a piece of it. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. Boston ball. Here's Pritchard. No scoring in this one. Puts it up. In deep, Tatum drops it in. And the Celtics lead by 20. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense, you better lock in right now. 149 left in the second quarter. Pass to Exum. Now here's Hardy. Just five to shoot. A step back shot here. Counting. And the D just a step slow, reacting to the step back. Austin leading by 18. Pritchard passes to Tatum. Let's the three fly. It's rebounded by Dallas. Lively's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And here's Harkey. One ten left now here in the second. Six on the shot clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. For Dallas, they have been perfect at the line so far. Albeit this two for two. He throw good. Hardy. Derek Jones, he's checked in for the Mavericks. So he gets them both. Austin's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. The pass to Pritchard. Here he goes. Out to White. Brown deciding where to go with it. Four on the shot clock. White, good. White's got nine points. Derek, how many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Hardaway passes to Lively. Here's Kleba, guarded by Tatum. Here's Hardy. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. But like that he shakes off that rock in the first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Shooting for Dallas. And the Mavericks making a change here. Powell's checked in. Dallas shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line. Something he didn't do in the first period. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. With some arc. They grab their own miss. Jones kicks to Kleba. Here's Hardaway. Cans the 12 footer. Guys, you want to be able to score from all three levels, and Hardaway Jr. is capable. That instance, mid range is on point. And so it's the Boston Celtics with a 14 point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. They bet 38. Thanks, guys, here with Jason. All right, thank you, David. Folks, don't go away after the break. We'll see you right back here for the start. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show.
And the NBA Finals action continues. Taking a look at the Celtics, they've taken this opening game by storm, playing championship-level ball on both ends of the floor. If the first half is any indication of what this series will be like, he may be in for a show. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? And the game plan they went with was very cool. It was center around scoring inside. Pound that ball inside, pound it in the face, try to get the high percentage shot. And because of this assertive attitude, they've got the edge where it counts on the scoreboard. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? They're not shooting it well so far. Actually, they're just very Fellas, I got an idea for them. Feed the post, let the big man eat. Jeez. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. With so much on the line tonight, you have to be impressed with the way he came out and set the tone with his aggression. You get the sense when there's big-time performances to be had, this guy wants to take part. You expect that this is a trend that will continue here. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Tatum out there with Porzingis, and it's Holiday in at the one spot. That's the Boston Five. And it's sent back by White. That's anticipation on the defensive end by Derek White. Send it back, young sir. Doncic looking it over. Pass to Gaffer. Holiday against Doncic. Rocket six. Jacks up a three. Luca pays no mind to the defense. Boy, with all the attention he gets defensively, a hand in his face doesn't even bother Luca. White against Irving. Oh, Tatum in position. An emphatic L.U. jam. Wow, how about the long arms and the timing of Jason Tatum on the alley -oop. Nice. Doncic kicks to Gafford. Passes to Washington. Doncic outside. Now Irving hasn't made one yet. And Chuck, no good. And that's where you want to make the next pass. This guy is a good scorer, but the defense was right on him. Tatum, a rebound by Washington. Average trail by 13. The dish to Irving. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Puts it up. Eyes again. Shots good by Gafford. Well, oh, just it's easy to say this guy wanted it more, creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. White bounce pass. Holiday looking over the floor. A wide open look here for Persingas. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Persingas has got 10 points in the game. Dallas calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. Uh, that's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Now Horford's checked in for Brown. And Dallas with a change here, too. Green's checked in. Here's Washington. Porzingis with the block. Holiday against Dungeon. And Holiday throws it down. And, and Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the charts. Donchich passes to Green. 
Horford against Washington. Porzingis with the block. Just a holiday. Steps back and fires. Horford in the post. Washington's on him. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Well, that's about the word put in to get Al Horford in a solid position on the glass. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. At the line, Al Horford. Free throw drops for Al Horford. And so here is Dallas trailing by 19. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. He lobs it up, trying to go for an alley -oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop. White dishes to Horford. And Lively pulls it down. Lively's got his fifth rebound in this one. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Irving kicks to Doncic. Five on the clock to stop the run. It's held in by Persingas. Persingas has got rebound number five here tonight. Holiday with it. Now Green defending. And that one goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Tatum. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with a rundown of this postseason's assist leader. Number one, Luka Doncic. Dwight Powell's checked in for Washington and Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Now here's Doncic. Defense right on him. Dishes it to Green. On the wing Hardaway. Guarded by Holiday. Dallas no good that time either. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. And this is the key. In this game, you've got to be able to move your feet to be successful on the defensive end. Dante Exum is checked in for Green. Second team ball. Checking in for the Mavericks. Dante Exum. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. Celtics passing it around. Six to shoot. Horford the pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. Over Doncic. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Doncic with it. He's got 10. Got a hand on it. And there's going to be a foul. He definitely made contact with the ball, and in doing so, also got the body. So we'll see free throws here. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for Boston? Great job by this team closing out, blocking a bunch of shots, and just a tremendous effort defensively. The other thing that jumps out about their performance tonight, the amount of steals really pressuring those ball handlers. Jalen Brown's checked in for the Celtics. Now here is Holiday. Two minutes remaining in the third. Here's Two Brown. Minutes. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Brown's got eight points. Yeah, Jalen Brown working in that mid-range area. This guy knows it's got to be a part of your game. Doncic passes to Powell. Rebound, Boston. Down low, here's Horford. Nice pass. Run right into the rack perfectly for the layup. And that's now seven points for Al Horford. 22 left in the third. Anjic passes to Lively. Second chance effort. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal. That one on Horford. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much of eight there. The Mavericks have shot six or seven at the line. No good on the second free throw. A good board there, Kevin, but overall they're getting slightly out rebound. Side holiday. Brown right side. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. 
second person. You have to have the ability to force the defense to commit one way or the other. Jalen Brown's aggressiveness does just that. Zelix have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. The first free throw is good. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for the Mavericks. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Mavericks trail by 21. Here's Hardaway. And that comes off the assist by Exum. Six points for him. Well, Tim Hardaway Jr. getting stronger, and that's a problem when he's trying to finish through contact. There's 42 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Mavericks foul. Dwight Powell. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Four. Team foul. And the first one at the line is good. Dallas making a switch here. Jones has checked in, and he makes both free throws. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. On the wing, Doncic. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Well, I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Here's Brown. He's got nine. He dishes it to Horford. Over Jones. Tried to bank it in, but he missed it. And so it's the Boston Celtics with a 19 point advantage heading into the next quarter. A look at the field goal percentage number tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And we'll be right back after this. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. 19-point game on the floor for Dallas starting the fourth quarter here. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. P.J. Washington is out there with Jones. And it's Gafford in at the center, filling out the middle. Down to five on the shot clock. Washington finds Jones. And here's Doncic from the arc. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distances half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Here's Pritchard. And Jones pulls it down. Average trail by 16. Here's Washington. And then Washington with the dunk. Well, not exactly one of those big, early power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Irving against White. Outside, Horford. Tatum looking around. Good on the shot. And the Celtics lead by 16. We know this is an offensive-minded player. Jason Tatum loves running pick-and-roll action. Washington against Horford. Washington passes to Jones. Andrews outside. From deep, Washington. Another three for Dallas. Washington. Oh, the defense has to stay attached to him on the perimeter. Celtics leading by 13. Outside Tatum launches it. And again, Boston with the triple. A good look there. And he didn't waste it his second three of the game. And here is Doncic. Outside Irving. Gafford inside, headed by Porzingis. Gafford misses. For Boston, they've gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Horford the pass to Tatum. And 
he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Gary Jones Jr. Well, what's impressive to me about Jason Tatum is how he attacks his weaknesses in the offseason. This guy is committed to greatness. The first one falls. Yeah, good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. Rosingas with the steal. Basket good. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Dallas calls timeout. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. Boy, he's really had their number. They need to make some kind of adjustment during this timeout. Once again, for Entertainment. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Hanjic passes to Green. And here is Washington. Six on the shot clock. And no good. Good work defensively by Horford. Here's Pritchard. Guarded by Doncic. Oh, and it's sent back by Washington. Now, Doncic. Irving finds Doncic. Back to Irving. Let's it go from deep. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Doncic has got three assists tonight. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Time Lost call here. The Celtics line. decide to talk it over. Some changes. Brown is checked in for Horford. And it's Drew Holiday in for Pritchard. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. The kick out to Brown. Boston. No good that time either. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. A three for Dungeon. The Mavericks rebound, and then Washington with the dunk. Washington. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Here's White. It's tipped, and they recover it. Tatum gets the bucket. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. The pass to Lively. Porzingis with the block. White with it. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six in the game. Oh, that is impressive stuff from Derek White. Defender in his grill, no problem. Washington against Tatum. Hunter chops high. Two minutes. Three pointers off the mark. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Outside White. Outside Holiday. Tatum on the wing. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Normally he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Well, no Assist doubt. Very good play two. call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. And guys, you can go ahead and put game one in the record books. Exactly how they wanted to kick off this series against a tremendous opponent. Big win for Boston. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. They're certainly starting the finals off on the right foot, and this will be a comfortable win for them in game one. Yeah, this was a statement game, and what a time to make it. I'm sure it's going to get tougher for this group, but they won't be able to just run away with the championship. But tonight, they clearly established themselves as the stronger team 
early in this series. And we watched that guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats, just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Jason Tatum. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. Well, this is what they needed earlier on. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. And Holiday hands it in the corner. Out of bounds, Dallas will we'll we'll take possession. Mavericks ball. Substitution on the court. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Kleba. Here's the floater. He can't hit that time. Great D that time from Tatum. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You see Kevin's momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this way into game two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by Corson. David. Six man in the lead. Thank you, Kevin. KP, you guys got out on the break tonight. How did you get into transition so easily? Uh, yeah, we want to play faster, and that's what we try to do whenever they miss. We try to run, move the ball quick, and get easy buckets. And you were able to beat him down the floor tonight, KP. Thanks a lot for your time. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.